planar graphs and Euler's formula. That's what we're starting today. Now, planar graphs or networks are just undirected graphs, just like we did, you know, in the first exercise. There's no edges that cross over each other. So, if we've got an edge that crosses over, we have to be able to draw them where they don't cross over. So, that's very important. A region or a face is the number of areas that make up a connected planar graph. So here we have a face that was being shaded in. Here we have another face, that's why it's called F2, an F3 face right here, and then the outside as well, which we've called F4. So this one has four faces. Okay, that's why they exist in and outside. Right, Euler's formula states that the number of vertices minus the number of edges plus the number of faces equals 2. Now this is true for all connected planar graphs. So if uh, they ask us, is it a connected planar graph? We can use Euler's formula to work out whether it is or not. All right, here's an example. Verify Euler's formula for this graph. I mean, in this case, it's asking us to verify that Euler's formula exists. We could be using it to find vertices or edges or faces or whatever. So, vertices. Vertices, remember, we just count how many nodes there are. Vertices, nodes, it's the same thing. That's two, three, four, and five. So vertices, there are five vertices in this one. Edges. How many edges? Pretty straightforward. We count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You can cross them off and then just take rub them out with a pencil. And faces. How many faces there are? Well, there's one in here. There's another one there. That's two. There's one right in here that links it, and there's one on the outside. So there are four faces all together. So we've already got the rule up, V minus C plus F. We start with the left-hand side. So we get V, v there's 5, V, minus 7E plus the 4. And when we work that out, we get an answer of 2. And then we say which equals right-hand side of Euler's rule. That's how we verify something. We don't write both sides down. Example 2 says a tetrahedron may be represented graphically by a connected planar graph. Verify Euler's formula for the graph shown. So again, there, how many vertices are there? There are four. Edges, we won't put any dashes on them, we'll just count them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six edges. And faces, if you count them, there's one, two, three, four faces. There's the left-hand side of Euler's rule. We fill it in. So V equals 4 minus 6 plus 4. And we get an answer of 2. And never do left-hand side and right-hand side like that. You've got to do it separately. So a little bit of an error there. Which equals the right hand side of Euler's rule. So okay. I'm just playing. No. Example three it says a connected planar graph has six vertices, nine edges. How many faces does the graph have? Now it tells us it's a connected planar graph. So as soon as it tells us that, it means that we can use Euler's rule. So we'll write down Euler's rule: v minus e plus f equals two. It tells us how many vertices there are. It says six. Minus tells us how many edges there are. Nine. Plus, we have, uh, asks, us for, asks us for the faces, so we'll leave it as f equals 2. And we just use algebra to work out f. So 6 minus 9 is negative 3. Plus f equals 2. And then we get f equals 5. Okay, so how many faces does this graph have? This graph will have 5 faces. And there's your questions.